This closure, as the governor has indicated, is up to six weeks. It involves 43 school districts in those three counties. It is roughly 600,000 students. It is more than half of our student population in the state of Washington. Students in King and Pierce and Snohomish counties will be out of school until the end of April in an effort to combat the coronavirus. This decision comes as the state health department reports 30 deaths among 366 overall cases of the virus here in our state. Governor Jay Inslee said the decision to close schools was a difficult one. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Mark Wright. For schools not already closed, the closures are expected to begin on Tuesday. King 5's Chris Daniels is live now in Olympia with a closer look at today's announcement. Chris. Yeah, Mark and Joyce, we should stress once again, this only applies to King, Pierce and Snohomish counties. But Washington Governor Jay Inslee said that could expand in the days ahead. It is a massive day to day change in a story that changes by the day. The truth is that life will be different. We cannot hide from the central truth of this moment. Governor Jay Inslee announcing a mandate for public and private schools to be closed through April 24th, an unprecedented response to an unprecedented pandemic. 600,000 students in the three county Puget Sound region will not have class for weeks to come and likely won't have to make them all up either. State Superintendent. Chris Reichdahl. It's time we expect some of these days to be made up. We do not expect that given the length of this closure that it uh, will be anywhere close to mathematically possible to make them all up. Reichdahl says the time will also allow districts to develop widespread remote or online learning programs, ominously suggesting the coronavirus could take months to fight. It's also under a belief that our systems need to be prepared for a potentially longer closure in the near term and the possibility that without vaccine, as we have seen in pandemics of past, we have to be prepared that this is back in the fall or is still with us in the fall. And this opportunity to close right now gives our districts a very serious moment to think about their strategies and professional development to get our staff and faculty prepared. That is something this state has never considered. But again, the truth is it now must. It's easy to Monday morning quarterback this kind of stuff. But yesterday there was an analogy made to this is like an earthquake from a science perspective. And there's been so much earthquake planning in this state. Why has there not been more planning for remote learning amongst school districts? Why has there not been a state mandate for that? Well, because we got to have school buildings for people to have to go to school. And we took the limited money and we put $8 billion of new money into schools and we're building schools and hiring teachers. And if we had to make a decision between planning for an epidemic that might have taken 50 years to come here or hiring a teacher, we made a decision to hire a teacher. And that was the right decision. Some other notes that are important to point out at this hour, the state says only 2% of the positive tests for COVID-19 have been for people under the age of 19. The state superintendent, Chris Reichdahl, also says that the standardized state educational testing has been postponed and that is statewide as a result of this closure in the three county area. There are also plans in place already underway in the city of Seattle to provide food for kids that are under free and reduced lunch. It's expected that all of the districts involved have that in place by the time this mandate goes into place next Tuesday. That's the very latest live from Olympia. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News. Chris, thank you. Some parents were pretty shocked to hear the governor's announcement today. They're now scrambling to try to find child care. Tacoma Bureau Chief Kristen Ayers live in Tacoma tonight with that part of our coverage. Kristen. Yeah, some of the parents we spoke to here in Tacoma caught off guard by the governor's announcement. Uh, they, some of them actually learned about the school closures from us. And while some are making plans, others say over the next six weeks, they'll just have to wing it. Three counties, 43 districts, and every K through 12 school in them closed. When parent Joy Cole heard the governor's announcement, she says she wasn't exactly surprised. I kind of anticipated that this was going to happen. Um, I have a friend in Italy, and the schools were closed there for about five weeks. And so, with a ripple effect, I kind of thought it was just about a matter of time before we were going to have our schools closed. Neither were her daughters and their friends. 
Be prepared to come what's happening. What Cole hasn't figured out is what to do with the kids. She and her husband are first responders, unable to work remotely. We'll have to figure out a plan. I think we're just going um, to connect with our community and keep everybody safe. A little bit in shock. Melanie Shields, whose daughter is a first grader at Franklin Elementary, didn't see this coming, but she's one of the lucky ones. I have the capability to work at home uh, remotely. So I will ha definitely have to do some of that. But she says the disruption comes at a tough time for her daughter, Lily. She's at a real critical stage and very excited about reading. And so this is going to definitely hinder us a little bit. Lily's teachers sent her home with a stack of books. This fox and that fox. And some online learning materials so she can keep up. Keeping up during a six-week hiatus has some students worried. I'm just worried about next year in fifth grade because I'm in fourth grade with Anna. Yeah, we won't be um, prepared for anything. Yeah, I'm kind of scared that I won't be prepared for the future. My brain's just going to go blop and they're probably going to take it over summer. So those parents who are unable to work from home told me they'll just be relying on their community to help out with child care going forward. They say while this is necessary at this time, it is going to be a long six weeks. Live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News. Kristen, thank you. So across the country, more than 400,000 students will not be in school because of the coronavirus. Other than Washington, schools in Ohio, Connecticut, Tennessee, New York, and Virginia, to name a few, will be closing from between a week to two weeks in hopes of trying to keep everybody healthy. Even the $1.5 trillion from the Federal Reserve Bank could not help Wall Street today. Today was the worst day since October 19th of 1987, a day investors call Black Monday. The Dow lost more than 2,300 points, 10 percent. It was also a terrible day for the Nasdaq and the S&P 500. Both were down 9 percent. Well, President Trump will not be tested for coronavirus. The White House confirmed that both the president and the vice president had almost no interaction with a Brazilian aide who tested positive for coronavirus. This video shows President Trump standing in front of that aide. He is the one wearing glasses. This was taken during a four-day visit, which included dinner at the president's Palm Beach Resort. President Trump says he is not concerned that he may have potentially been exposed to coronavirus. Meanwhile, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is self-isolating after his wife started feeling sick. Sophie Trudeau sought medical advice after developing a fever and is being tested now for coronavirus. Some of Seattle's fine dining is becoming a little more casual during the outbreak. The spread of corona has canless changing how it does business. The iconic restaurant here, it's closing down its dining room to offer drive through and delivery instead. For breakfast, Canlis will have a pop-up bagel shop. Its drive through will be open during lunch hours and delivery available at dinner time. The restaurant says this allows them to keep their employees working safely while also trying to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Well, instead of playing to empty arenas, almost every major sport is now taking a timeout. Here's a live look at our stadiums tonight. They are all quiet, and it's going to be quiet for the foreseeable future. One of the biggest decisions today was to call off the entire March Madness tournament. This is the first time the tournament will not be held since it began in 1939. For the Mariners, spring training is now over, and opening day, which should have been at the end of this month, is being pushed back at least two weeks. The Sounders will not be playing for at least 30 days. And the XFL announced it just in just the last hour that the season is going to be suspended. You also will not be able to turn on any hockey games. The NHL has suspended the season until further notice.